football for a generation. Did Mike Tao make contributions to the game that earned him a spot in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame? But in many people's eyes, what makes Dick a true PT peer is his tireless and relentless work for the V Foundation. And that has been awesome with a capital A. Hi, everyone. Dick Vitale. I want to thank you all for sharing a few moments with me to allow me to share with you my feelings about the V Foundation. The V Foundation is so special in memory of the late Jimmy Valvano. What a foundation. Dedicated people. We at ESPN have our executives over the years serve on the board of directors, people like Jimmy Pitaro, George Bolenheimer, Steve Bornstein, Executive Vice President Gordon Williamson. The effort they put in, the passion they have is unbelievable. Our CEO and our president of the V Foundation, I think about Susan Braun who's going to be retiring. She's been so dedicated. And the V Foundation has raised $250 million in pursuit of research to battle every kind of cancer. Unbelievable. That's a quarter of a billion dollars, all because of the legacy of Jimmy and that great speech he gave. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. I think about the V Foundation. I'm so proud to be part of it. But I also think about my team. I think of my team, the Mary Keneally Events team. What a team they are. Dedicated beyond the norm to raise money for kids battling cancer. They put on every year my Dick Vitale Gala. We're so proud of our gala this year. It was virtual. Virtual, and yet because of one of you beautiful people who donated, we raised $7.4 million for research grants to battle that dreaded disease, pediatrics, to help kids, help kids along the way in their battles. I think about being part of that, and it's so special. I think now, for example, we're trying to raise money through pediatrics, through the sale. I have a new book out. It's called The Lost Season, and every dollar I would make from that book all about last year not having a March Madness, the lost season. You can get an autographed copy. Just go to DickVitale.com, DickVitale.com, and get an autographed copy. And all those dollars I would make, they're going to pediatrics to help kids battling cancer. We also have a raffle on a beautiful red Mercedes convertible, 2021. And we only sell 1,500 chances. Well, you can't win unless you join, but it's a win for everyone. You get a chance to win a beautiful car. You also get a chance to help us raise money to assist kids in a battle against cancer. It is so special. I want to share words with you about a youngster who lives close to me. Beautiful people. Spoke to his dad about three days ago. His dad, beautiful guy, Jerry Herman. He gave me the latest report on Weston. Weston just turned 14 years of age. He's an eighth grader. He's had battles. You talk about courage. He's in his fourth battle. His fourth battle against brain cancer. Think about that. He's had two brain surgeries. He had one cycle a couple years ago battling with chemotherapy. He's now the fourth time he came back. He's now in another cycle, 52 weeks. He's completed those four, 23 weeks. But let me tell you about his courage. He's a great hockey player. Oh man, he's not just good. He is great, unbelievable, terrific for his age, plus he gets older kids. Well, recently, he had chemotherapy. After the chemotherapy, he told the doctor, I'm going to play hockey tonight. He said, what are you talking about? You're going to be weak. No, I'm going to play. On the way home, his dad told me, his dad said he was throwing up all over the lawn. But that didn't stop him that night at 8 o'clock. He went out and played with his team. And he scored three goals and had two assists. He wants to be a normal kid like everybody else. And man, he's special, so courageous. Like so many kids that I honor every year at my gala, my all courageous team. Kids, the names don't mean much to you because you don't know them, but I do. I think of Akari Tarpley. I think about Emily Ayers. I think about all those kids, Cole Eicher. I think about Cameron Wiggins. I think about Tatum Parker. I can go on and on. I've gotten to know these kids. I know what their parents go through. It's unbelievable. As you and I are talking here today, as I'm sharing words with you, I'm going to tell you this. You think you have a tough today? Every day, not just today, but every day, 45 to 50 mothers and fathers are going home and they're hearing four words that no mom and dad ever wants to hear. Your child has cancer. It's life changing. So I beg you from the bottom of my heart, please donate. If you want to route the ticket, you want to get my book autographed, you just go to bigvitale.com for both. And you can make a donation there as well. We need donations. 
We must help kids in this battle against pediatric cancer. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You may ultimately save someone you love. Thank you so much for allowing me to share some words with something that's so special to me now. In my life, it's my last chapter, and I want to do something positive because so many people have helped me along the way of my life, and I want to give back, but I need your help. I need your help badly. So please donate. Go to dickvitale.com. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Relentless energy that Dick shows for the Bee Foundation is inspirational to all of us, and we thank all of you who over the years have contributed and helped as much as you have. If you're able to contribute, we hope you will. V.org slash donate. Every penny that you donate goes to the V Foundation for Cancer Research and goes directly to the